So now I'll talk about uh, predominant surface wind patterns on Earth. Here's our Earth, and let me just line out the different regions again. At zero degree, we have the ITCZ, the Intertropical Convergence Zone, and then at 30 degrees, we have the Subtropical High. At 60 degrees, we have the polar front. And at, in the central Arctic, we have the polar high. And this is mirrored on the southern hemisphere. Now, as we know, for the intertropical convergence zone, At the surface, the lower leg of the Hadley cell moves north to south. But what's also acting is the Coriolis force and that leads to a deflection to the west. And as a result, the winds that we observe in the subtropics are deflected to the right and are blowing from northeast to southwest and are therefore known as the northeast trade winds. And in the southern hemisphere, the same happens. And these are called the southeast trade winds. And as a result, in near the equator, we really have predominantly westward blowing winds. And I wanted to give a little more detail on the physics behind this direction. If you have a high pressure region and a low pressure region and then the pressure gradient force will drive flow of air or water from high to low pressure and you can think of here we have these lines where the pressure is constant. These are called isobars. Iso means constant and bar is pressure, so isobars are lines of constant pressure. So the main force that will balance this pressure gradient force is the Coriolis force. And the Coriolis force always acts to the right of the direction of motion. And in order to balance the pressure gradient force, the Coriolis force has to act downward in our picture here, which means that the direction of motion is to the right. And as a result, the direction of motion is parallel to the isobars. So the direction of motion is along lines of constant pressure. This balance is known as geostrophic balance. The balance between the pressure gradient force and the Coriolis force. And in reality, you don't typically achieve perfect geostrophic balance because there's other effects like friction, etc. But in many cases, the main dominant forces are the Coriolis and the pressure gradient force. All right, so to get back to our global wind picture, we have the trade winds in the subtropics and then 
as you know, for the ferrule cell at the surface, the wind is in the northward direction, and that gets deflected again to the right due to Coriolis. So then you're left with these westerlies. And you can see those westerlies in both hemispheres. So westerlies means winds from blowing from the west. Around the North Pole you have circulation driven predominantly clockwise around the North Pole and anti-clockwise around the South Pole. Finally, what I wanted to point out, around 30 degrees latitude, the winds change from predominantly going to the west to predominantly going to the east. And as a result, there's actually fairly little winds in general at all in these regions. And these calm regions are known as the horse latitudes. And it's a little unclear why they are called the horse latitudes. There's a couple of possible explanations. One idea is that a ship that was traveling in these regions would suddenly not experience many winds anymore, but there might be strong currents. So the ship would get horsed on one of these strong currents and still make good headway without winds. Another explanation is that Back in the olden days, the seamen were indebted to the captain beforehand. They would get an advance and spend it all. And so the first couple of months, one to two months that they were on the ship, they were just paying off their old debt without actually earning money. And typically around the time that the ships would reach the horse latitudes, they would have paid off their debt and they would celebrate that by having an effigy of a dead horse and they would beat that dead horse to celebrate that they had paid off their debt. So it's a little unclear, but there's some fascinating possible explanations of why these are called the horse latitudes.